Psalm 100, verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Let me read that again and notice the order that the psalmist puts those imperative verbs at the beginning of this verse. Enter his gates with what? And his courts with? Praise. So you don't get to the court until you go through the gate, right? You gotta go through the gate first, and then the court. Friends, and I can say these kinds of things because we're leaving after lunch and pastor can clean up the mess if there is a mess. <laughs> Would you please think about the order the next time you come into service? Do you ever feel that your spirit is dry on Sunday morning? Do you ever feel that when pastor preaches a sermon that everybody else talks about for the next three weeks and you're going, I just didn't feel it. Do you ever come to church with an attitude of obligation as opposed to privileged anticipation? If that happens to you, and let's be honest, shall we? It happens to all of us on occasion. If you're in one of those seasons, could I implore you to begin Sunday morning with Thanksgiving at home a gentleman I met before the service said, every morning I wake up and thank the Lord for another day. Yes, that's the attitude. If you find worship dry, then how about, may I gently suggest, how about offering a word of thanks before you even pull into the parking lot? And then see, having given thanks, as the psalmist says, in that order, if you don't get more out of worship. Acknowledging, of course, that worship isn't only for us. We have a component. And God, in his mercy and blessing, allows us to feel wonderful things in worship. The worship is for God, right? And then, and then he, vertical worship, but then there's also this horizontal worship component in the fellowship. But the times in my life, you know, I led worship for 30 years as a weekend warrior. Had my Judson gig, but had church jobs the whole time. The times when I was most dry... I look back on it, and I wasn't thankful for anything, much less the opportunity to lead God's people in worship. Fellowship. Enter. Get the order right. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. We're going to teach you a song for the Tizé community. Wonderful community in France. Ecumenical community. Our Catholic brothers and sisters use this music a lot more than most Protestants do, but the founder of the Tizé community was actually a Protestant. And it's the very simple choruses, the harmonies are almost like medieval and renaissance, some of the chords that they use. We're going to teach it to you once, and I'm going to ask you when the lyrics are on the screen for you to join with us. This is a song. You want a song that will help you feel thankful? This is a good one. In the Lord I'll be ever thankful. In the Lord I will rejoice. Look to God. Do not be afraid. Lift up your voices. Why? Because the Lord is near. This is Trey. He's going to sing. We have got uh, Ezekiel on oboe. We've got Lauren. What are you playing this time? Flute? She does flute and oboe. This is Ainsley on oboe. John is going to be back there because he's going to play a trombone in a minute. Trey singing. Who else we got? Milo on the, uh, what is that? Cajon. Trey on the electric guitar. Emma on the acoustic guitar. Not Trey. Caleb on the electric guitar. Emma on the guitar. This is our graduate assistant, Tiger Cockerclaw, who is playing bass. And uh, we're going to sing In the Lord, I'll Be Everything. Please worship with us as we do. One, two. <laughs> I 
I trust in you, I shall not be afraid. You are my strength, you are my song. In the a special offering. You know, our Christian colleges and universities, our, our faith-based colleges and universities, really provide such a grounding for so many young folks and others who are entering different venues of ministry and service, and they're such a blessing to us. We want to preserve them and lift them up and help them to grow and stay strong. That's what this offering is about. So I'd like the ushers to come forward if they would, please. And we're going to have a, a prayer to bless this offering for the Judson Choir. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing to be upon this university and this choir as they faithfully seek to go out into the world and share the message of your gospel and to do so faithfully. We ask that you would bless them as they have been a blessing to us this day and will continue to be a blessing to others. And so we commit this offering uh, to that purpose, to serving you together in one voice. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
Keep your hands. 